Welcome to this lesson on linear, quadratic, and exponential applications. Linear, quadratic, and exponential functions can be used in many real-life situations. So let's look at some examples below. The first example says the graph shows the flight of a marble tossed from 10 feet in the air. Use the graph to answer the questions. So number one, would a linear, quadratic, or exponential function be best fit for this graph? Well, that is a parabola, so it's definitely going to be quadratic. Remember that U shape is always a quadratic parabola. Number two says, which equation would be the best fit for the graph? So A is a linear equation. It's got x to the first power, so this is definitely not a line. B is a quadratic. It has x squared, so that's a possibility. C is exponential, 3 to the x power, so that would be an exponential graph, a j-shaped graph. That's not it. And then D is also quadratic, so we need to decide between B and D. And I noticed that this parabola is upside down. It's opening down, which means it has to have a negative out front. So that means D is going to be our answer. All right, number three, estimate how many seconds it took for the marble to hit the ground. So we're looking to see when does the height reach zero. Now, it reaches zero twice, but over here, this is a negative time. So really, we're just looking from here on. So it looks like about right here, and I'm going to estimate that at 0.8 seconds. All right, let's try another example. The table shows the amount of money in Stefan's savings account over 10 months. Use the table to answer the questions. Okay, so number one, would a linear quadratic or exponential function be the best fit for this data? So let's make sure our x values are counting evenly spaced. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're good there. And then let's check for linear first. So plus two, plus four, plus eight. Definitely not linear. Let's check for quadratic, so that would be plus 2, plus 4, plus 8. Okay, it's not quadratic. They're not all the same. So that means it's probably exponential, but let's make sure. I'm going to start down here. 1,024 divided by 512 is 2. 512 divided by 256 is 2. 256 divided by 128, that's 2. 128 divided by 64, that's 2. So it looks like it is exponential. Number two, which function would best fit the data? So we need to find an exponential function. So A is linear. That's out. B is quadratic. C is exponential, so that's a possibility. And then D is linear, so it's got to be C. All right. And then number three, write a sentence to describe Stefan's money. So it looks like he started at month one and had $2. And then in month two, he had $4. And then fast forward to month 10, he has $1,024. So we can say... Stefan's money is increasing. And we know this is an exponential function, so it's increasing exponentially. All right, let's continue on. Read the scenario below and answer the questions. So Leon charges nine an hour to mow grass plus a $12 maintenance fee for his lawnmower. What type of function can be used to model this scenario? Linear, quadratic, or exponential? Coastal charges nine an hour plus a $12 fee. This $9 an hour, you could also say $9 per hour. And if you're making money per hour, that's growing at a steady rate. Every hour, you're adding $9. Every hour, $9. So 
So if you're growing at a steady rate, that means it's linear. It has a constant rate of change. And we have written equations like this. So he makes a nine per hour. And then there's also a $12 maintenance fee. So plus $12, that's our B and Y equals MX plus B. So which equation best models the scenario? Well, it's right here, nine X plus 12. And then number three, use the equation and estimate how much money Leon would make after six hours of mowing lawns. So we need to substitute six in for X. So nine times six plus 12, that would be $66. All right, last example. The model represents how the population of a town grew over four years. Each block represents 1,000 people. Use the model to answer the questions. Okay, so let's count these blocks here. So the first one I'm starting with one, and then three, nine, and then let's see, three, six, nine, 12, 27. So what type of function can be used to model the scenario? Well, it looks like I'm growing exponentially. It's definitely not linear because I'm not growing at the same rate. And if you wanted to make a table to help you, so we have three different examples here, one, three, nine, 27. So from one to three, that's two. From three to nine, that's six. Okay, definitely not linear. From nine to 27, that's 18. But you could also check for quadratic. So from two to six is four. From six to eight is 12, so it's not quadratic. But it is exponential. 27 over nine is three. Nine over three is three. And then three over one is three. So that's how you could prove it. All right, which equation would best model the scenario? So we're looking for an exponential. So A is linear, B is quadratic, C and D are both exponential. C is an exponential growth where the numbers are getting bigger, and then D is an exponential decay where the numbers would be getting smaller. So these numbers are getting bigger, so it has to be C. All right, and then using the equation, estimate how much money people will have in the town at year five. So three to the fifth power. And I'll just use my calculator for this. Three carat key five. You get 20. Let's pause a minute here. You get 243. But if you go back and read the question, it says each block represents 1,000 people. So I need to multiply that by 1,000. So I get 243 thousand people. All right, and then number four, write a sentence describing the population of the town over time. Pause the video now and try that. Okay, so you could have written something like the population of the town has grown exponentially over the past four years. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.